you ever have a conversation with somebody and it gives you a light bulb moment? I had myself a light bulb today. I'm just chilling this morning, getting ready for work, chit-chatting with the hubs about the show, and and we're discussing our mutual disdain for Cersei Lannister and how we just need her to die. <laughs> and um, I said, well, what if Jamie kills Cersei? And my husband says, why would Jamie kill Cersei? And I said, maybe he catches her trying to kill Tommen. And he said, why would she try to kill Tommen? And I said, well, consider this. She has lived in fear of her children being killed for years, ever since she got that prophecy from Maggie the Frog. And now it's slowly but surely coming true. And she completely believes in it. As she stated in the last episode, she completely believes this to be true and this to be happening. She watched her son die a horrific death by poison, her second daughter dying by poison, and maybe she'll decide to take matters into her own hands and just take Tom and out herself because she believes he's going to die anyway. She doesn't think it's optional. It's not something that can be controlled. So instead of sitting there, living in fear, trying her best to protect him, knowing that it's going to happen anyway, maybe she'll continue her downward spiral into insanity and say, you know what? I'm going to take him out myself. We've already seen her try to kill Tom in once when Stannis was attacking King's Landing the Battle at the Blackwater, and that could have been foreshadowing that she would try it again later. Um, I mentioned that to my husband, and he said, well, she only did that so he wouldn't die. He She only did that because she knew he was going to die anyway, and she wanted it to be a peaceful death. And I said, aha! Aha! She thinks he's gonna die right now anyway. Maybe she's just gonna try and go ahead and handle it herself. Maybe do a murder-suicide, take herself out too. Maybe peacefully poison her son, let him die in his sleep, with plans to burn down King's Landing when she's done. Torture everybody else there, including all those darn sparrows who are making life horrible. I think that Cersei is fast reaching the point of not giving a single damnness. Like, what does she have left that she wants to hold on to? Two kids getting killed out of a prophecy of three. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's locked in as this is fact and there's nothing she can do about it. Except the only control she could have in the situation is to try to do it herself. And the same way that Tywin busted in on her when she was trying to give Tom in the Kool-Aid seasons ago, what if Jamie busts in on her? And maybe he, it's too late. And he strangles her. Yes, he only has one hand, but he probably only needs one hand for swordsmen like Jamie versus a frilly little Cer Cersei. <laughs> half crazy anyway I mean I don't know maybe he would just stab her or something I don't know choke the life from you could be a metaphor for death it doesn't have to be a strangling or a choking so I don't know tinfoil time what do y'all think about it let me know because I could see it man and I could see it happening Tom is gonna die anyway I could see it and it would be kind of cool. I don't want Tommen to die. I love Tommen. But he's, you know, he, it's prophesied. He's out of here. So I want to see Cersei go out. Interesting. That's my thought for the day. <laughs>